So I'm Mike Snyder with Sonoma Partners. I'm here with Corey O'Brien, and I want to talk a little bit about some pretty cool stuff you're doing around uh, developer productivity yep. and plugins specifically. Yep. So maybe before we get started on that, talk a little bit about your role here at Sonoma. Uh, yeah, my name is Corey O'Brien, as you mentioned. <laughs> I'm uh, one of the uh, development directors here and also a lead architect. So I uh, help provide solutions both internally and externally to our customers. So working with clients on system architecture, stuff like that, but then also internally making sure consistent right. across right. all the projects, stuff like that. Yep, trying to enforce best practices and come up with uh, you know better ways to customize dynamic CRM. Got it. So uh, you had mentioned to me maybe last week or two weeks ago about a new thing you'd kind of been developing. Right. So I was kind of curious to hear more about it and maybe share it with people. And yep. So. Um, the, the tool that, that we're talking about, at least internally, we've been calling it XRM Snoop. So, uh, one of the one of the things as you start to develop plugins for Dynamic CRM is uh, you get a lot of information passed into you. There's a lot of different parameters. There's a lot of different ways you can register your plugins to run um, for events within the Dynamic CRM uh, pipeline. So. It's always a little bit confusing as a developer, you know, what the different values will be that are getting passed into you, what's available for you to pass as output, uh, what impact you have to the entire event processing pipeline when, when you register these plugins. So what we came up with was a tool that will actually let me kind of, in a very streamlined way, connect to a CRM system, uh, pick which entities I care about, and just register a, a simple plugin to listen to anything that happens for those entities. Um, when those events do occur, uh, it's going to talk back to this desktop application, XRM Snoop, that's running Snoop, on, right. on my developer box and give me all of the information that I would have had available if I'd written a custom plugin. So um, it's just, it's, it's very streamlined, like I mentioned. Um, it's very graphical. You can, you can kind of browse through in kind of a typical Visual Studio-esque uh, watch window format, um, browse through the different values that are coming in. And if there's a complex uh, property like a dynamic entity, you can list it at, look at its list of uh, properties. Um, so this is instead of like, uh, if you didn't have this tool, I mean, right. you'd have to kind of go into the SDK documentation and you'd be kind of poking around and, and right. there's stuff in there, but it's not necessarily specific to what you're trying to do. Right, and a lot of times I think the SDK documentation will have different categories that talks about uh, here's different images that are available to be registered for with a plugin. Um, and you can go to that global topic, but a lot of times you're thinking like, I need to know what happens when I mark an opportunity as one. Right. And I'm thinking about the opportunity. And if I go look at the opportunity help, it talks about some generic opportunity stuff, but not plugins and opportunities. So I think that this kind of takes an entity specific view of of the CRM system and lets, lets a developer kind of go down their natural thinking process. And the cool thing I saw a demo is, um, like you said, you, the developer can actually hook up XRM Snoop, point it at some entities, log into the user interface, right. and start like, you know, what happens when you create a lead? What, what's, what's fired, what's triggered? They create the lead and it'll spit out what's happening. Right, so that's the idea. Is like you, you, you basically hook up and you click a button to start tracing. It will register a plugin within CRM and then you just use CRM like a normal end user would. And as you're using it, it's firing back messages to XRM Snoop to, to record the details of, of what it's seeing at that time. It's because then, you know, again, documentation is not going to necessarily show you all those things. And there's always those tricky ones where right. maybe two entities are related to another or there's some other entity you're not aware of is firing as you, you know, right. do something. Those are all kind of those hidden things are all over the place, right? right? Yeah, yeah. This, this is an alternative to basically writing your plugin, stubbing stuff out, hooking up the remote debugger, breaking in Visual Studio, and, and ex kind of examining things. You know, there's, there's a lot of overhead to that. And if it's something you're doing frequently, uh, you're writing plugins on a daily basis, you, you don't want to keep doing that process. It's there, um, but XRM Snoop makes it just really a few clicks away to kind of get all that information. Right. And again, I'm obviously this would work on out-of-the-box entities, custom entities, any type of, right. Right. hence Definitely. the name XRM, I'm guessing, is yep. kind of the yep. genesis there. Yeah, and more often than not, it's it's uh, the custom ones that you're, you're trying to look into and see what's going on. So the, right. the native ones, once you get a certain number of plugins that you've done, you, you kind of are familiar with them and, and what you can expect to see. So obviously I see a huge benefit for you know new developers, people that aren't familiar with Dynamic CRM, that get familiar with what's exactly happening. Right. Uh, what about existing developers, people that been working with it for a while? It's still something that there's, there's certain aspects that, that people, you know, they're, they're familiar with like one portion, like um, 
maybe they know the, the quoting engine and, and all the entities related to that and the different messages that are available, but they don't necessarily know uh, some of the marketing campaigns or, or some other angle. Right. So eventually, yes, you, you probably need it less, but so something internally I've been showing it to developers here, and one of the things that they're now saying is, well, you know what would be great is if you could extend this even more and make it so that I can see a list of the plugins I already have registered in the system and basically trace um, right before my plugin and right after. So I can see what's going into my plugin that I have written and running on the system, and then I can see what my plugin does and how it manipulates that data, uh, and, and then see the, the new output that's coming out of it. So that's actually not a very difficult thing to do and probably be something that we'll add to the tool soon. Pretty cool. So, so even though, you know, like you mentioned, existing developers probably are more comfortable with working plugins, like I said, that's a great example of if you've never worked with service scheduling, and all right. of a sudden you work on a service scheduling project, right. this is going to be a huge Definitely. time saving. And it's, there's such little overhead to getting it set up and running. I think that's the real advantage is that, you know, if a lot of times if developers have the choice of writing their own code and figuring something out or using a tool, they'll write their own code because they control it. It's very simple. It's lightweight. Lexarm Snoop is written with that same mentality. It's, it's lightweight. It's quick. It's meant to just get you up and running so that you never have to think about firing up that remote debugger and, and trying to just do that investigative work up front right. again. And so far, the customers of Sonoma Partners, I mean, this is primarily right now just an internal tool our developers are using, but right. the benefits they'll get is you know, stuff's getting done more quickly, more efficiently. Definitely. And eventually, maybe it's something that if we get enough feedback that there's value, uh, this is something that we could... Because uh, as, as part of most projects, you know, where some type of developer training or knowledge transfer at the end, maybe this could be a utility we share with them, right. and their developers could take it and run with it from there. So. Definitely. Cool. So I appreciate your time. Thanks yep. a lot. XRM Snoop sounds pretty cool. Yep. And I look forward to hearing more about it. Great. Thanks. Thanks.